everybody. Good girl, you are. For Marines assigned to the Wounded Warrior Battalion, Friday is a day of healing. They just bring a lot of positive energy around, I believe. It just helps you heal and helps you get back to living a normal life, I suppose. For the past two months, volunteers with Hawaii Fido, an organization that provides service dogs to those in need, I've been bringing pet therapy dogs to the Marine Corps base here at Kaneohe Bay to work with Marines assigned to the Wounded Warrior Battalion West. It's the unconditional love of the dog that makes this all possible. You know, they don't care what color you are, if you can read, if you have missing limbs, whatnot. They're just there for that touch, and they give that back. Max, Max. Corporal Rafael Cervantes is one of the wounded warriors here. Cervantes, who's recovering from an IED blast, says he looks forward to the weekly visits with the dogs. Lately, I just, I don't know, I just feel, feel like I'm not here. And being around these dogs is just, gets my mind out of what I feel and my pain in my leg. I have a lot of pain in my leg, so just hanging out with these guys, is, I think it's an amazing thing for us. Teaching Marines to care for and train service dogs is an important part of the Hawaii FIDO program. Corporal Daniel Carter says there's no question that adopting his lab, Finn, has helped his recovery. I've had a huge success in um, going from just depressed and never leaving my room to always being out and I'm never in my room now. Good girl. Wounded warriors on the road to recovery with a little help from man's best friend. At Marine Corps Base Hawaii, Kaneohe Bay, Army Staff Sergeant Brandon Roth reporting.